In movies and space documentaries, the night skies are always depicted as vast regions filled with bright brilliant stars all over. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why there aren't that many stars as shown in the documentaries and movies? Well, there are. The stars haven't disappeared anywhere, they're still present. We just cannot see them due to light pollution. What exactly is light pollution? Light pollution is a type of pollution that is caused by the unnecessary and inefficient use of various artificial lights. There is a lot of misdirected light that comes from man-made sources such as street lights and floodlights that tend to wash out our night sky. The light disperses into the night sky and this results in an artificial glow. This glow brightens up the night sky while dampening the natural light produced by our stars. Over 95% of the stars that we can actually see with the naked eye are now invisible due to the problem of light pollution. More than 80% of the world lives in urban cities where there are light polluted skies. Did you know that it was possible to see the Milky Way with our naked eyes? Unless you live in Canada or Australia, you have probably never seen our galaxy when you look up at the night sky. Due to all the misdirected artificial light, it is immensely difficult to see our clear night sky. Aside from washing out the stars in our sky, light pollution also interferes with astronomical research. We are unable to gain a clear and sharp view of the Milky Way which poses a huge problem for astronomers. Observational astronomy is based on viewing the night sky with our instruments. But when there is so much light pollution in our sky, it makes it that much harder for scientists to observe the galaxy and draw accurate conclusions. A huge part of astronomy is studying the spectrums of various objects in our universe such as stars, galaxies and clouds. Now because of light pollution, the city lights also create spectrums that interfere with the spectrums of the objects in space. This makes it really hard for astronomers to study these objects. How can we solve the problem of light pollution? Well, to start off with, we could reduce our use of decorative lighting. This holiday season, use the natural light emitted by the millions of stars in our sky rather than all the artificial lights. The use of LED lights will also significantly reduce light pollution in our cities. They reduce the use of energy and are good for the environment, so it's a great investment. We should also try to use dim lighting while driving as the glare from the headlights is quite bright and strong. If there is no need for light, switch it off. Unnecessary use of light is a huge reason as to why there is so much light pollution in our cities. If you really want to get a clear view of the night sky and our beautiful Milky Way, there are multiple places you can visit to do so. The Arches National Park located in Utah is the best place for you to see the Milky Way. It will almost make you feel like you're on another planet altogether. Around one-third of the world's population can no longer see the Milky Way at night. It's quite absurd that you might even have to travel to another country just to get a glimpse of your own galaxy. The stars in our sky are one of the most magical and breathtaking things you will ever see and we should all be able to see more of it on a daily basis. So let's all try and do our part to reduce the light pollution in our cities. If you like the video make sure to like and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.